YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Is there a case for NVIDIA touching $140 per share next week and ultimately closing at that price? Now, I thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit that thumbs up as we continue to grow the channel. I greatly would appreciate it. Now, this stock has been pretty much unstoppable all year. Yes, we've had a little turmoil here or there, but it didn't last long. And so this past week brings us back up to hundred and being up 173% on the year. Over the last six months, we're at 50%. And over the last week, we're up 7.89%. And so the question is, can we sustain this actual move, turn 135 into a strong level of support to ultimately go to 140? Now, one thing that we do know is the market, I would say, kind of overall has gone where NVIDIA is, is going. And I would say without the strength that this stock has, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ would not be where they are now without NVIDIA. And I'm not going to say the hype, but the products that that they have now the products they're going to have going forward are ultimately going to be very beneficial to a lot of businesses and consumers out there and any company that's related somehow uh has any correlation to ai or chips have also been rising on the back of nvidia i would even argue that some of the big market cap stocks even the ones that are higher in market cap value than nvidia have benefited from this move as well okay now some of you may not agree with that one of them as we know is one of my favorite stocks of all time but yeah this thing just keeps on turning it keeps printing money and is keeping the you know overall market lifted up now we know about what's been going on over the last couple of weeks you know nvidia has been a part of you know different i would say meet up meetings they've been a part of different events and so the question is with this price ballooning the way it has can we sustain it now there was an article that says nvidia's value balloons by $400 billion in only five days, and it now exceeds the entire market cap of Costco. That is absolutely absurd. Now it says NVIDIA stock value has ballooned by an incredible $400 billion in the past five days, causing quite the stir in tech and investment circles. Now at a staggering $3.26 trillion as per business inside of Africa, NVIDIA has soared past many competitors, though it remains behind Apple and Microsoft in terms of global market capitalization. Now, that $400 billion increase alone surpasses the entire market value of Costco, which is roughly $250 billion. Now, even though the retail giant posted an impressive $254 billion in revenue last year, now, the massive surge is largely thanks to NVIDIA's AI-focused chips, the newly launched Blackwell chip designed specifically for artificial intelligence has been dubbed a game changer. Now, NVIDIA CEO Jing Sing Hong said, called it the engine to power this new industrial revolution. Major tech players like Microsoft, Oracle and Google seem to be on the same page, pouring their support into NVIDIA technology and betting on its future impact. So when you think about the backing of Microsoft, the backing of Oracle, the back of, backing of Google, uh, some could argue even the backing from Elon Musk and you know him really in, endorsing this company and you know, when we think about even the EV sec space, you know, a lot of these chips are going to, you know, be a part of boosting what these 
these cars can do, especially when we talk about artificial intelligence and the capacity that these chips hold and the things that they offer. Now, it also goes on to say in 2024 alone, NVIDIA stock jumped by 170%, which we just talked about. And since early 2023, its growth has been nothing short of explosive up 800% as per Reuters. Now, the financial numbers are jaw-dropping. While Costco generated $7.4 billion in net income last year, NVIDIA boosted a whopping $30 billion in profit from $61 billion in revenue. Now, this speaks volumes about how profitable the tech space has become, especially compared to traditional powerhouses like Costco. Now, when we look at this particular uh, section here, from the technical standpoint, they had this thing as a buy. Uh, analysts have this rating rated as a strong buy. And one of the interesting things that I've noticed is their earnings is is about one month away, thirty three dollars. I mean, thirty three days. I said thirty three dollars away. Um, and you know, the question comes: Well, before then, I still think is a possibility, even next week, of us hitting the four hundred and forty dollars. There's not much economic data that's coming out next week, and as long as there's no bad news surrounding NVIDIA, no bad news from any thing going on between countries. I think this this stock has a, a good shot of reaching $140 next week. Now, I don't know if it'll hold it just because right now it seems like it's going to be a quiet week, but we just never know what can happen. And so from that perspective, if the market decide, you know what, hey, we're going to go ahead and take a quick profit because we don't know what's going to happen next week. And then maybe the following week or the week after, we're going to resume this massive bull run that we're on. So for me, I would say that if we hit $140 per share, I'm going to bring this thing out because we are at the highest i know one of these months we touch 140 and then sold off um if we get rejected at and currently where we are now or at 140 i think we will come back down to retest 130 but if we close at or above 140 one day this week i think the next leg up will be 145 um, I know some of you may say 142, but I think there will be a lot of a lot more hype surrounded behind this stock if it closed at or above 140. So maybe it would touch 143, 144, 145 in a pre-market, maybe a following day after. Does it fall after that point? Who knows? But one thing I would say is it definitely has a shot. Now, this is what I have to say about NVIDIA as of right now. Let me know your thoughts on NVIDIA hitting $140 next week. And I'm out, guys. Peace.